All right, how's it going, everyone? It's your boy Defender Dan coming at you from Defender's Hearth, and boy, am I excited today. Uh, today, we've got the start of a new journey, literally a new journey, uh, called the Legends of Sina Una, but we are also calling this the Call of the Conch. Uh, for those of you that may have never heard of this campaign setting, uh, it is based on the pre colonial Philippines and a lot of the mythos that were going on then. But we are going to be expanding it much further than uh, just the, the pre-colonial Filipino culture uh, to expand it to a lot of the mythos from a lot of the different island cultures. So I'm excited to be able to uh, take this adventure with you uh, to not only get to experience some fun D&D 5th edition uh a gaming but to be able to uh learn more about belief systems within the world that we live in today uh you will meet gods and legends from other cultures uh whether it be the maori culture uh the chukis culture the marshallese culture the samoan culture micronesian polynesian all of the islands we love them all uh, I am your DM, Defender Dan, and uh, let's get started. Let's introduce our cast. Uh, so today we have two of our cast members, uh, namely Femji and Last Strider. Uh, if y'all wouldn't mind saying hi. Hello. Rousey. This is Last Strider. Why, hello there. <laughs> all right uh femji you there can you hear us can you hear us across the pond alas the echoes of silence perhaps we'll have uh femji come back to us um uh, but until then uh Let's uh let's get to know Last Strider. Would you uh would you mind introducing your character to us? Gladly. My character, um, his name is Rufius Crackhorn. He is a half orc paladin who is recently adventuring. And the reason he is recently adventuring is because his gog, god, <clears throat> Magdalen, decided that she is tired of me sitting around, eating, and not really putting in much effort to help grow the faith. And so she wants me to go out and to bring glory to her name and start working on inviting more people to support her. Perfect, perfect. So, Magawain, Magwayan, uh, Magwayan, she is the goddess of the transition point between life and death. Um, we're going to learn more about her as we adventure in the setting. Uh, Femji, are you with us now? I don't know, am I? Yes, you are. <laughs> okay. All right. I don't know what happened. I don't know. Discord being Discord. <laughs> uh, would you mind introducing us to yourself and your character? Uh, yep. I am Bemji. I am playing Ty the Blood Elf Sorcerer. The whole reason why he's going out on an adventure is because he heard that his twin sister caused some shit and he wants to fix that shit. But I don't know if he will fix that shit. I'm excited to find out if he does. <laughs> um, okay. So, our journey begins. Um, we start our journey all together on a boat. Um, we have been sailing for a while through rough seas, through calm seas, and strangely, as of the last few days, we believe, 
Uh, we can't really tell. The the fog has been around us for a while now. Perhaps, perhaps the Lilino has something to show us. Perhaps it is just a trick. But the grayness surrounding you weighs heavily on your mind and on your body. Each of you feel alone, even though you know you are on the same boat. Even though you know there are others on the boat. But you can't see anyone. All you hear is the gentle lap of the water as it crashes up against the hull. And just as quickly, the fog seems to clear. You see a man standing over the water. He looks to be thinking. He looks to feel alone. He turns to you. He smiles. You see the light in his eyes as he recognizes another presence with him. He turns and looks to the water again. In your heart, you feel a name come to you. And that name is Bathala. As Bathala stands before you, he slowly lifts his arm, and the water, 50 meters away from the boat, slowly turns into a roiling boil. Blackness surrounds these bubbles and expands to encompass you in the boat. There's a heat, a heat that you seem to not be able to escape. And just as the water begins to scream, a small brightness appears at the point that Bathala is focusing roiling up from the bottom of the ocean a new island is being formed slowly the volcano erupts fiercely it begins to build the land what feels like seconds what feels like minutes what feels like years what feels like lifetimes seem to pass as now before you is a true island with lands towering over mountain ranges new bodies of water and Bathala smiles he looks at his creation he brings both hands to his lips and extends them forward breathing life into the world. Greenery begins to slowly appear, building up, breaking down, building up, breaking down, building up, breaking down with this gray slag from the volcano that has become the first island. These seeds begin to expand. Some grow taller, some grow smaller, some grow into the water itself. Though his back is to you, you can feel his joy at the beauty that is being created before him. You hear a perilous laughter as 
true happiness washes over you. Your ears begin to buzz as a low sound comes from Bathala himself. A song. A song. You watch as he moves to the trees and sings as they grow and they grow and they grow and they begin to move seemingly to walk to new parts of the island some seem to dance as they grow gently he rubs his hand down the bark of one tree and from it steps forward the first the first of the elves the first of their gods Bathala is no longer alone. This elf she too she too feels the joy and spreads joy of creation of new life. She helps him in these fields, in these forests, down these rivers, these waterfalls, these lakes. Harvest and fertility is what she brings. And you hear the first words he utters. Her name, Lakapati. Lifetime seemed to pass as each generation of trees, of each generation of grass, grow and wither, grow and wither, as slowly animals begin to appear. Bathala and Lakapati have a child. The next word you hear, them both utter, Apolaki, their son, destined to lead and guide of all that he brings, of the brightness of his life, a life too bright to contain in this world. And so he is set across the sky. The next a daughter. And surprisingly, triplets with this birth. The first Mayari, whose brightness is almost equal to that of Apalaki, is brought to her rightful place in the sky to guide others as the moon, and to overwatch all that Bathala has created in the night. Others arrive and show a friend, a friend to all those creations that seem to have gone and been forgotten. Anolaji the god of the lost. They're not forgotten. They have their caretaker too. Many more races come and go. The man, the tortoise, the turtle. 
the half-orc. Risen great and strong, and given the courage to stand out and lead those around them. To follow. And to bring peace when contention arises. As time continues to go on, something kind of tickled your ear yet again in the distance. As time passes, communities rise and fall. As a great serpent arises from the ocean floor and attempts to swallow Mayari the moon. A battle you can no longer see or follow as her brothers and sisters defend her day, night, throughout the life. I need a wisdom saving throw from everyone. So, for those new to D&D and D&D Beyond, um, if you go to your character sheet and uh, you have a box that says saving throw directly under your strength, dex, and constitution stats, go ahead and click on that number um, and it will give your saving throw. Saving throw is uh, so on the dex. So we click either on strength, dexterity, or constitution. So directly under that box uh, are those three boxes under your name. Yeah, uh, there's a box that says saving throw. Click the yeah. one that says wisdom. Oh shit, I did it wrong. Yeah, you, you gave a check. Did I? Yeah, I realized. I got a five. The fuck? Oh, the first nat one of the series! Oh shit! Oh no! Oh no! God. Oh fuck. Okay. Damn. Well, uh, my character, which I did not introduce. <laughs> Lorton Strong Smith. He is a volcanic dwarf. Uh, he is a volcano cleric. He is the only one that passed the check. Um, so, I told you. So my stat is shit. Let me get. We're let me get a perception check from you two. What is? Nine. Oh, thank God, that was a seven. <sighs> okay. And a ten. Oh, okay. We are... We're in for a good time. <laughs> All right. So, from the fog... Uh, you hear that blaring conch. Hopefully you guys actually heard the conch sounds. Uh, I, I couldn't tell if my mic was proking or not. Um, you hear a blasting conch and snap back to your body. Um, 
we are all on a boat. Um, okay, so on your character sheet, uh, <clears throat> next to campaign above your hit points, there's a, should be a little, um, you can either click the campaign call of the conch or there might be a, a play button. Perfect. Uh, and it should bring you to a map of a boat. Yes. Okay. So, this is a new feature from D&D Beyond. It's in alpha. It's in testing. I'm loving it so far. This is our boat. This is what we've been on for the last few weeks as we've made the journey um, to Tillamanduk. Um, one of the islands that we are approaching. Uh, you should see some boxes on the top left-hand side of your screen. And uh, in it, this is a lack of preparation on my end. We will have tokens for Kai. Go ahead and I don't know where you would like to be. And Rufius... I'll throw you over there. That's perfect. About another foot down, right next. To I don't think that creature is in mobile yet. Uh, it probably is not. So what I can do for you is maybe stream to Discord as well. If I don't know, if you can see it though. Would you like me to stream it for her? I got it. I've got it. All right. I don't know where you want to be. This is your character token. Uh, if you have a particular border color you would like. Uh, ironically, that, that's fine. There is good. And yep. what color you want? Uh, blue. Blue. All right. Um... You guys actually get splashed on the face as... Oh, I already got you down, Strider. Boop. You're in the cyan circle. Um, Lorton, I need him. He would likely be... Kind of up here, watching where we're going. He's kind of a curious fella. Um, as you come back to, um, your senses, both of you are startled to find strangers on the boat. Dripping, soaking wet. Uh, across from you, Rufius, you see a triton who looks like yoked out of his mind. Like, this man eats like seven dozen eggs for breakfast. Completely shredded. Uh, all he's got is a sea, <laughs> like a seaweed loincloth, kind of wrapped around uh, his junk flopping everywhere. Um, Kai, you see, sorry, no, that's who, that's who Kai sees. Man's with his junk flying out. Um, Rufius, you have a, another triton, light blue skin, seaweed green hair, uh, but he's about six foot seven, 180 pounds. And he, you can tell he's a very battle-worn uh, person. Um, and with those perception checks, that's all you see. That's all you see. Um, and as you process that at the same time, uh, you will also see... 
Lorton startled but uh drawing oh I didn't get myself any equipment uh drawing his mace what who are you how dare you board this boat and everyone needs to roll initiative well shit and you can do that by clicking your initiative box on your page uh, oh so i get a good roll in fucking initiative okay and that could be to your favor 18. This is not to my favor. Yeah, but. Yeah, I will. <laughs> Alright. Oi, wanker. Let me write down everyone's initiative real Ooh. quick. Who takes a beating? That would be me. Everyone takes a beating. Um, three okay. for initiative. Oh no! You yeah, you were totally <laughs> yeah, invested going... in uh, the food. <laughs> each and every one of those, um, the gods and goddesses that were in the vision. That's why I went down the acolyte route? Uh, then it is, and then. Uh, Kai, you got an 18, you said? Yep. Uh. <clears throat> and then... <laughs> Alright. Cool. Cool, cool. So, to kick things off... Uh, <clears throat> the Triton that oh, where's my mappy? I want my map. The Triton that's directly across from you, Rufius. Uh, he pulls out his great axe and immediately takes a swing at you. Does a 21 hit? Does a 21 beat your AC? Your armor class? My armor class is 18, so yes. 21 hits. Takes 7 points of damage. I Livingston! This boat looks like it'll do nicely as a as a nice little gift. Ah, uh, for for you know who. We'll bring these in for sacrifices. And with that Lorton will reply. Oh no you don't, no you don't, and he'll rub his hands together and spread them both out up and high as he casts bless on both uh both of you two so you guys can add uh d4 um to any attack rolls you make or any saving throws you make uh and with that he will so many tabs and then use his movement speed. One, two, three, four, five. And each block is five feet. As he'll come in and begin to make his approach. Um, now we come to Kai. What What is Kai going to do? 
So taking out weapon is one action, correct? Uh, no. Uh, since it's start of combat, go ahead and arm yourself. Yep. Livingston in front of me, right? Yes. God damn it, it shows you their names. <laughs> yes. Hmm. I'm gonna go watch it. Kai has. Give me a second. <laughs> No, you're good. Uh, just as reminders, you guys are good to give each other call-outs for help or for light banter and targeting. Uh, just know if you are saying something out loud, I will assume that your characters are saying it. And that means your opponents can probably hear it. Um, yeah. Oh, you wanker. That one really hurt. <laughs> <laughs> what? What did I ever do to you? Can't a man enjoy his meal? <laughs> I was going to take a staff and try to hit the one in front of him. <clears throat> but hitting! Oh. Fact horn! Oh, the one in front of him, a wanker, he misses and rolls a nat one. Oh, wait, that was a nat one? Oh, um, it popped up that as That was two. a nat one. Oh, <laughs> man. Yeah. I had a plus one. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. Well, that, uh... I'm going is... to kill myself. <laughs> Poor Kai. Oh, my God. Okay. Just so blame me, why don't us... you? I'm the one bleeding! To Livingston. Um, That's two and not one. <laughs> who is going to move up on Kai. And just like. Uh, after getting a good. <laughs> and he's just going to try to sucker punch you in the face. <clears throat> Why'd you be a not fucking 20? Does a 14 hit? It's directly my armor class. So, yes. Uh, take four bludgeoning damage. I don't think these ones will be too great. They can't seem to hit anything. <laughs> oh, you could have added your bless on it. It's a 1d4. Oh, no, it was a nat one. You could not roll a nat one. It was a nat one. I <coughs> Damn. Okay. Uh, that will bring us to Wendelmere. Who? Uh, is going to cast... Uh, let's see. Uh, uh he is going to cast what is the range on that? Uh, he will move up <clears throat> one, two, three, or one, two, <coughs> cast Thunderclap on Lorton. Uh, so that's a constitution saving throw. D8. 
DC 11. No! <laughs> okay. Uh, so that's a failed save. And that's going to launch me 10 feet, right? Oh, nope. It's just 1d6 of lightning damage. So that's three. Terrible. All right. And that brings us to Rufius. What are you going to do, Rufius? I am going to turn <laughs> towards Traving, Travis Dunn and prepare myself in a stance to block with my shield. Okay, you wanna? You don't want to attack or anything? Actually, I will. I will try slashing at him. My, my sword. Okay. My, uh, my, uh, Bathadol, Bathadol sword? No, no, the Kipalon sword. All right. Go ahead and take your swing. That's the 1d8 plus 4. Right. Yeah, so you need to click your hit DC first. Oh. And then... 16? 16 yes. is my AC. 16 hits. So go ahead and roll the <clears throat> 1d8 plus 4. So the 1d8 plus 4. Okay. 7. Uh, so the Plus eleven. Oh, oh shit! Uh, so as you swing, uh, where where do you want to hit him? Leg, thigh, arm. Uh, in the, the arm. In the arm. Slashing down towards his hip. All right. So with that with that swing from uh, shoulder to hip, uh, you just rip him open, and all of this green blood starts gushing. Oh, fuck! This one can hit! <laughs> and with that, he is very bloody. Boy, you're getting blood all over my, my meal now too, eh? And he will try to take another swing at you uh, with that great axe. And that cut that you just slice through him, you, you can see the muscles underneath and just like ripple <clears throat> and like stop moving. And the great axe just <clears throat> chunks and lodges itself into the into the boat underneath your feet. And that is his turn. Over to Lorton. Um uh how how bloody do you look rufius uh i have i'm pretty bloody at this point like I, on a scale of one to full health what would you say like three? Oh shit okay uh so seeing that <clears throat> um lorton will oh that's a touch spell damn okay um now you want to touch me, eh? I don't think I can get over there. Without taking an opportunity attack. Yeah, I, I, I can't get <clears throat> uh, <coughs> So, with that... Um, Lorton... <laughs> Will look and oh, I, need, I need to take care of him in a moment. And with a hand gesture, um, you see this crimson red just burst around Wendelmer. Or, well, it, it starts descending from the sky towards Wendelmer. Uh, and that's a dexterity saving throw. And he jumps out of the way just in time and to dodge that sacred flame. Damn, okay. 
Uh, we are over to Kai. What's Kai going to do for us? I tell him to hit something. Okay. Ah, uh, better. You trying to hit Livingston? <clears throat> yep. Okay, so as of right now, you've missed with a 12. Uh, you've missed, but you can add 1d4 to it to see if you can land that hit. Yeah, I'm trying to figure that out. Hey, Ben has the d4. Plus 2. So 12 plus 2, 14. 14 just hits. Roll me some damage. <laughs> I hit something for once. Holy yeah. shit! Hell yeah. And that will be... Three bludgeoning. <laughs> Three bludgeoning? Alright. So Eight. just as, as uh, Livingston took that swing at you, you bring up your uh, staff and smack him around the back of the head. With a nice solid... I can't fucking hit something! <laughs> Uh, that brings us to uh, that brings us to Livingston who is just he's gonna take another he's, he's starting to get pissed off that, that you, you smacked him upside the head like that so he's gonna take another swing at you <coughs> Does an 8 hit? Nope. Nope. Awesome. So he just... You missed a bit. Totally overshoots. And uh, his his back is kind of to you now. As you sidestepped his blow. Uh, Wendelmere is next. And, um, as, what was that to do? Sacred Flame. Uh, <coughs> Wendelmere is going to cast, uh, Frostbite at Lorton. So that's another con saving throw. And that's another failed save. God damn. Uh, so the cold will just catch one of Lorton's hands, and you see it, like, frost over and just start. Uh, at first it turns white from the cold, and all the ice, and his barely see his fingers starting to turn, to turn black. Uh, Rufius, <laughs> what you got for us? Rufius, you there, my boy? I am here. Just had what to take a you, minute to What are you to... doing to fight <coughs> these big, awful men? The, the green blood sloshing all over the ground at my feet and all yes. over my recent meal. Yes. I will take a slashing attack across Thrivingston's stomach. Okay. So, plus six on the hit, DC. Yep. <laughs> Nineteen. Nineteen hits. <clears throat> Go ahead and roll damage. Eight. <clears throat> All right. Describe how you kill him. <clears throat> what happens to the I, fool? I slash him across his stomach, and the rest of his internals slosh down onto the deck. As he slowly coughs up more green blood. And he'll, he'll throw out a... <coughs> but why? That, that really hurts, you know. 
<laughs> and then just, just walk. face down into the into the boat. Cool. Uh, do you want to take any of your movement? Yes, I want to move. Oh, <clears throat> sorry, movement is twenty feet, or is it? No, my movement is. Uh, it sorry, is... my walk. Thirty feet, correct? Walking speed. Yeah, your walking speed is your movement. Okay, I want to move. In each square is five, correct? Yep, and you can this part that looks like netting, if you want. <clears throat> You can try to hurdle that with an athletics check or acrobatic no, check. Not. Or there's that little plank that's like a little bridge. You can walk across that. Um, if you click, and you can drag your character's token to wherever you want it to go. Right there be 30. Awesome. I, I would like to move them here. Awesome. <clears throat> Okay, uh, so Trivingston is dead. Not that you guys actually knew his name. Uh, which brings us to Lorton. Uh, Lorton's like just—he's gonna shake off <coughs> that frost on his hand, and he is going to uh, try to cast. Uh, sacred flame on their sorcerer again, uh, which is <coughs> a deck saving throw. Deck saving throw makes it. <coughs> so that radiant pillar just causes a bit more extra light uh, onto the boat. Um, okay, then we go to uh, Kai. What are we doing, Kai? So, the dude fuck is not going to me, okay? I'm sorry, say that one more time. The dude fuck is now turned to me, okay? Yes, yes. Yep. Boy, that's a cute little back you have there. Well, you know, he's <laughs> he's in a seaweed loincloth, bro. So if, if that's what you're interested in, hey, that's perfect. As long as I don't okay. have to see any more swinging <laughs> bits, hide them behind those legs, you cowering buffoon. It's the deep sea sausage. <laughs> With his dagger, that is gonna look cool. Like what he barely hears from Clacton, and then lands a twenty-two to hit. Twenty-two definitely hits. <laughs> what the He's, fuck? Are you looking into a manhood again? Um, and not fighting? Livingston is wearing armor made out of seaweed, correct? Well, a long cloth? Yes. Seaweed. Yep. It's, it's got a pretty so, tough exterior. So, just but... takes the dagger. Okay. And just kind of jabs it between the shoulder blades. Dealing two points of damage. Two points of damage. Yep, those, those shoulder blades. You know, he is a triton. He <laughs> hangs out in the water all the time. He's probably swimming. He's, he's pretty built. Uh, okay, so that goes... You don't need them shoulder That goes into his turn. And hearing all of these insults coming from across the boat, and then getting literally stabbed in the back, now he's just pissed. Um... He's gonna rage. Fuck. Uh, so, with his rage, uh, he's also finally. Um, well, no, okay. <clears throat> okay, I can't say that because we've already role played it. He's gonna take another swing at you, Kai. Nineteen hit. 
Give me the damage. Four bludgeoning damage. Oh shit. Um, actually, you know what? Add that four points back. He's gonna use that attack to, uh, instead of punch you in the face, uh, he's gonna whip around and grapple you. Um, oh, okay. So, yeah, let's, <laughs> let's retcon all of that. Um, so he'll go to grapple you, so it'll be opposing strength checks. Uh, what was that? Uh, if you want to give a strength check, or if you can uh, RP how you would get out of the grapple as he, he tries to grab you. Grab him by the dick! <laughs> grab and his twist. dick and twist it! <laughs> grab his dick and twist it! <laughs> twist his dick! <laughs> the girl's dick <laughs> So, as Kai goes to get grappled, he kind of just ducks below. Using the staff to kind of join his arms to the other direction and just reaches for the dick and just he yanks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just give me that. Give me that strength check at advantage. <laughs> <laughs> and the advantage. <laughs> so roll again. Uh, yes, yeah, so roll two D uh, two D twenty. I didn't see what it popped up as. Seventeen. A seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah. Completely Earth. surprised. By you <clears throat> grabbing this man's dick, he's just going to miss. Twist and, it! <laughs> and because of all the salt water from the ocean, he's just going to, like, slide across your back. What the fuck? Are you, are the, you still holding his dick? They've, Wonder Man, they've never done this before. What's going on? <laughs> Don't cry for mom now. <laughs> I can't hear shit. Don't insult me, Metting. <laughs> Sausages, that, what's funny, huh? With that, Wendelmere <clears throat> will turn and seeing you grab <clears throat> this man's dick, he's going to completely ignore Lorton. And he's going to ca cast Chaos Bolt at... Um, at Kai. Um. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> That's an 18 hit. Unfortunately. Okay. Um. <clears throat> so this will be... 2d8 frost damage and 1d6 oh just kidding it's uh poison damage uh seven points of poison damage <coughs> i am down so this, this greenish streak it just goes across the boat and smacks Straight into your into your face, covering your mouth and nose as this poison goes in. Uh, Had to grab him by the dick. <laughs> <laughs> Lorton completely <clears throat> confused at what's going on now. Um, is going to. Um, he's going to swing his, his mace that he drew earlier <coughs> at Wendelmere. Just try to bat him in the gut. Uh, so that's a nine plus one. Doesn't hit. God damn! Dude, are you he even just... helping or are you just... <laughs> Fucking off over there, in the middle of the lunch area. Uh, I would come in, but all you hear is dead noises. And the dick in the mouth. <laughs> Wait, in the hand. <laughs> <laughs> Livingston looking down at, at Kai's body 
is going to attempt to jump over uh, this netting. Um, and Sucker Punch Lorton. Uh, so, since he's raging, he gets advantage with a <clears throat> strength check on the jump. Wait. On uh, strength checks and saving throws. No, uh, it's just a straight athletics. And oh boy, does he do it. Let's see if he lands that punch. <laughs> ah, he, just, <coughs> he just turns, looks down, looks at Lorton, and then just jumps and Superman punches the shit out of Lorton's face. Uh, huh. Okay, so that is four points of damage and you can audibly hear Lorton's nose break okay and that should bring us to Wendelmere who is going to then try and cast Thunderbolt or sorry, Thunderclap once again on Lorton. Damn, he's just getting tag team now. <laughs> With another fail. God damn. Oh shit. Um, okay. Max damage. Of course. Lorton drops. Lorton drops. <clears throat> um, where's the map? So this will bring us up to Rufius. Oh shit, my bad. Uh, hold on. Kai, you are down. That is a death save on your turn. <laughs> and your heart starts beating faster and faster, faster, erratically. Rufius' turn. All right. After witnessing this crazy set of events, I see Kai fall to the deck and Livingston hurdle the net. My feelings towards my uh, feelings of my god tells me it, it might not be time to let my companion go so I'm going to use my movement and move to Kai which is t about 25 5, 10, 15, 20 25 plus I'm not sure where yep, she, you're she's good. you're good okay <clears throat> And then I still get an action, correct? Yes. Can I use laying on of hands? Yes, cool. You can. Yes, I would you like can. to use that. How many hit points would you like to give? Five. Five hit points. Awesome. Uh, Kai, you are back up. You're breathing. You're stabilized. You're awake. Do I have to do everything myself around here? You playing with dicks over here? I grabbed his dick and twisted it. <laughs> this is the greatest achievement of my sorry fucking life. 
Money! <laughs> okay. Believe that's my turn. Yes. Which Lorton is down. I wish I had a D20 in person with me right now, but I do not. <clears throat> I will roll. I got it. Now. Okay. Uh, would you like to roll a perception check if anyone is looking at him? I would like to. Uh, okay, go ahead. A nine. Uh, so from this distance, you can't really tell. You do see that the blood is pooling <clears throat> around his face. Um, and it looks like it's a lot of blood. Okay. <laughs> Livingston's just gonna turn to Wendell and be like, dude, he just grabbed my dick. He just grabbed Twisted. my dick. They've it... never done this shit. Well, you left it out to play. Uh, <laughs> and he's gonna turn and look at you. Dude, shut up! And then he's going to... You were overcompensating! Uh, he's gonna try and grab one of... <laughs> he's gonna grab one of the limes out of this crate. And oh, just... you're sending in a lime for my coconut? <laughs> just fucking huck it <laughs> at you, <laughs> Rufius. This is where I die. <laughs> Uh, okay. Oh, I went too far. Ooh, a lime! <laughs> he got a dirty 20. Take, oh um... <laughs> take one point of lime damage. <laughs> I will take it's one just, point of lime damage. It's just gonna, like, dead center forehead you. Right in the middle of your forehead. And it's gonna hit you so fucking hard that it's just gonna implode on itself and all of the lime juice gets in your eyes. Uh, not again! So, stinging eyes, <laughs> one point of damage, and I'm gonna give you disadvantage on your next swing. Unless you take an action to clear your eyes away. Is crying miserably count? Uh, crying is a free action in this game. I will take crying. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> My bloody eyes! <laughs> oh! Oh, look at you, weepy. You hack me and you hit me in the eyes! <laughs> You want me to kiss it better? <laughs> With that? <laughs> Not people around. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> With that, Kaya, it is your turn. <laughs> you are laying down. Um, you can use half your movement to stand back up. What is in the crate next to the edge of the boat? Uh. Great question. Um, so, immediately to your right? Is that what you're asking? Yep. Uh, it's going to be a lot of uh, just general boating supplies. Lots of coils of rope. Um, maybe some giant hooks for fishing. Um... The chest like thing may have some food. I can work with the hooks. I'm gonna okay. use half my movement, so that's 15, to stand up. Okay. And then another part of my movement to move over to the crease <laughs> and just grab one of the hooks and attempt to throw it 
at the dude who I grabbed the dick off. Okay. Um. So, a ranged improvised weapon. Uh, go ahead and give me a d20 roll plus uh, or minus your strength modifier. Eighteen. Nice. Okay. Uh, you hit. You definitely hit. Um, go ahead and roll. Um, what is your strength modifier? Minus one. Minus one. Okay. Um, Go ahead and roll an unarmed strike, so it'll be something bludgeoning damage. Okay, with a zero, and he's resistant to bludgeoning. Uh, you just see this massive goose egg almost immediately swell up. Uh, just above his eyebrow. Ow! And he's gonna grab another lime and get ready to throw it at you. (laughs) Um, okay, that brings us to... I think I already did my death save. Um, Wendelmere. Wendelmere will try and cast uh, Frostbite on Rufius. He's trying to make a lime margarita out of your face. Uh, So I need a constitution saving throw. And I need you to be an 11. Oh, no! 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 Okay. Uh, Take four points of cold damage. I am down. Okay. Um, that would bring us to your turn. Uh, go ahead and actually before it's your turn, Wendell Mir is going to make his way to you. And, um, he's already used his action. Okay. Um, now it's your turn, and I will make that death save for you. Okay. Your heartbeat is fairly steady. Your breathing is steady. Uh, and that brings us to top of initiative, which is Lortone. Okay. Livingston is going to come down out of his rage even though he's really pissed off that you threw that giant ass hook at him and he's going to start looking around on the boat um, and he will uh, didn't he have a lime he did have a lime um, but he he thinks Wendelmere is going to handle you um, he's gonna grab the rope right here, 
and he's going to use his action to tie Lorton up. Oh, come on, to fuck, man. Oh, these guys are fucking grabbing dicks. And uh, that'll leave it to you, Kai. Uh, your turn. My turn? Yes. Uh, I'm gonna move down to the one who just came over to Minor Rufus' side. Okay. Like, use half my action to do it on I don't need to use all of it and shit. And then... Do you... Sorry. Do you have huh? spells? I Cause don't Because you're, you're a sorcerer and Did you I haven't used that? a single bit of magic this whole fight. <laughs> I fucking put spells on! <laughs> I knew I was this one, motherfucker! I don't need to mourn on <laughs> I'm like, man, first we pull out the staff, then a dagger, then what's going on? You need a... Just medium. Uh, go ahead. I add... think <laughs> the god for that I was saying the sorcerer. <laughs> yeah, go, go ahead and add some spells. <laughs> you might do a little bit better. <laughs> That is, that is totally how I feel Kai would have been. I can do magic. <laughs> we use magic, you sorcerer. <laughs> what the hell? Give me a fucking minute. Well, she's adding spells. Are we taking a quick minute while she adds that? Uh, yeah, if you need any uh, bathroom break or beverages. Feel cool. free. I'll be back in a second. <laughs> Oh, I'm so stupid. Nah, you're good. I don't. I mean, as far as I know, you've never played a sorcerer before. Yeah, no, if, I haven't. If, if I'm being a million percent honest, Lorton only has two. Only has like three spells. Because <laughs> I forgot about it too. Yeah, no. Come on, on. Oh, it was either Monon, Good Egg, or fucking Maryland. I went four sessions before realizing I forgot to put spells on. While we're, so. While we're taking this little break. Okay, uh, give me. What's that? And you want to do Wow. Yeah. 
can do that one. I have spells! Shit. All right. <laughs> oh, well, the way I did that, I could be a spell. Oh my goodness! If you took Charm Person and said, "Do you want me to grab your dick too?" <laughs> is it the magic dick of healing? Do you rub it better? Yes. Yes. All better. <laughs> what? I definitely have that one. What? That's crazy. That's, <laughs> that's stupid. Who would have that? Okay, that makes sense. We got to continue. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> the guy's gonna look out window. I guess. Put his hands on his hips and just awkwardly lean on one leg while also using his arm. So he needs to make a wisdom saving throw of eleven or higher. Okay. That's a 19. <laughs> oh no! Oh, Talking on a dick. Doesn't shit. And Wendler will look at you and just. Not today. <laughs> well, I tried. <laughs> okay, uh, that will bring us. To uh, Livingston, who is going to say to uh, Wendell Mayor, You sure you got that one? They're kind of weird. And he is going to. Grab another rope from here, and then one, two, three, four, five, and six. Start making his way to Rufius. Uh, Wendelmer will try and cast frostbite on <laughs> on you Kai uh, so I need a con saving throw eleven just barely makes it. Holy shit, and that's me good stat as well. <laughs> okay. Okay, so there's no effect since you passed. Uh, <laughs> Livingston will then... Nope. We gotta roll for Rufius. Uh, Rufius, your breathing patterns stabilize and you start to feel a warmth in the darkness around you. Uh, Livingston will take his action to tie up Rufius, and he is 
uh, going to try and pick you up. And bring you into the center of the boat. Uh, so that will be a straight strength check. Ten. Uh, he struggles uh, to get you to get you up, um, and with that, he will with a fail on that check, he won't be able to get you moved this turn. Okay, back to top. Lorton. With that, um, Kai, you hear a choking sound. And as you look over, you see Lorton starting to choke on his own blood. Livingston will again... Try to pick up Rufius. <laughs> and the hit on the back of his head with the staff is actually starting to cause him problems now, where he's just starting to develop this migraine and he fails to, <laughs> to lift Rufius up again. Uh, Wendelmer will uh, he will give frostbite another go so constitution saving throw please on Kai Sixteen. Sixteen saves. Dope. Uh, I think I accidentally skipped your turn. Shit. Uh, go ahead and go. I'll make up for it now. Hearing Lawton choke, I realizes he's absolutely fucking useless in the healing department, and that's all on Rufus. He was currently being attempted to be picked up. Okay, so what do you do? Mm. Livingston's trying to pick up Rufus, right? Uh, yes. Shit, I can't do that. He's kind of hogtied him, and then he keeps trying to pick him up and get him to his feet, not really realizing that he can't be on his feet because his feet are tied to his hands. <laughs> so he's just trying to pick him up dead weight. I would like to move so that Rufus is just barely out of the five foot range of him. Okay. And then, but like making sure the Wendelmer and Livingston are still within five feet. Uh, you want to be here? Yeah. Okay. And then I was going to use Thunderclap. Oh, okay. Which needs a on save. 
Uh, so you're doing the cantrip and not the first level spell? Cantrip, yeah. Okay. Uh, and you're in range for both of them. Uh, 17 for Livingston. And that 20. <laughs> for it doesn't affect them. Wow. So what? Yeah, just uh, curses himself out, realizing how fucking useless he is. <laughs> with that thunderous boom. Um, both of them recognize what you're about to do, and they both slacken their jaw so their eardrums don't get blown out. Um, and with that, uh, living sin will... He's going to take a swing at you. Eight does not hit. Doesn't hit. Damn. Okay. Uh, then I think proper turn order would would have been you here. Nope, I missed Lorton. Lorton should have been before then. That is my bad. As. The coughing subsides uh, with one final. <coughs> There's a small plop as a blood clot is cleared from Lorton's lungs. Um, now it's Kai's turn. Who's dead? Uh, Kai. It, it's your proper turn now. Okay. For some fucking reason, I had eleven skin. I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. So, Livingston and Wendelma are still in five feet of each other, correct? Yes. And they're both within five feet of you. <laughs> Using the counter of acid splash, he's going to try and affect both of you. Is that a uh, line or a cone? That is a... You hurl a bubble of acid. So... What the fuck that means? It doesn't specify. Uh, acid splash. <laughs> you hurl a bubble. Of, choose one or two creatures you can see within range. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah you can so you can hit them both. If it was a if it was a cone, I was gonna have to warn about Rufius. Oh, I know. Okay. Uh, what do you need? Pardon? Con saving throw? Yes. 17 for Livingston. And 10 for Wendelmer. So, Wendelmer takes... points of poison damage. Alright. Uh, it splashes all over his, the back of his hands and neck. Uh, with that, um, Livingston will take a swing. 18. Hits. 
That's four points of bludgeoning. Holy shit. Yep. And that'll be a pause. Holy fuck. <laughs>